This is a demonstration of the HMV gramophone. I'm just going to show you how to use it and go through the controls in case you're not familiar with this model so that when you get it you'll know how to use it. There's also comprehensive instructions supplied with it but if you do have any questions or queries you can always send me a message and I'll try and help further. When you receive it the handle is stored inside the lid and the handle simply pushes into the slot and then you can wind it up clockwise. There's a compartment here which has some needles um, and the locking key as well. The needles were in the compartment when I received the gramophone but I'm supplying some new needles with the machine as well. On the deck here you have the speed control, obviously this is only for playing 78s uh, but some very early 78s were recorded at 80 so with this control you can slightly speed it up if necessary. There's two brakes, the manual brake is this side and the automatic brake is on this side. The automatic brake stops the turntable at the end of the record and automatically starts the turntable again when the arm is placed onto the start of the next record. So I'm just going to go through the controls with you. So if you just want to play a record manually and not use the auto brake, set the auto brake to the off position like so and then wind it up. Obviously be careful not to overwind it but you can tell you can feel it getting tighter as you wind it up so it's very hard to overwind it. Release the manual brake like so and then you can just put the arm onto the record like so. Forever in a heaven of love, sugar in the morning, sugar in the evening, sugar. Note that the arm goes on this side and not here. It has to go on this side for the brakes to work properly. And obviously you can just stop it like so. Now, the automatic brake, if you want to use that, set the automatic brake to on and bring the arm across like so. Okay. Release the manual brake because you don't need the manual brake if you're using the automatic brake because the auto brake takes over. And basically, when you move the arm across, it trips this little switch here and starts the turntable. When it gets to the end of the record, it stops. And then when you put the next record on or turn it over, again, simply bring it back to the start so that it clicks and it starts again. This is the speed control. So as you can see, all working perfectly and in excellent condition as well. Bear in mind this model is actually from 1939 which you can date from the serial number. Uh, so obviously pre-World War II, so very very old. These are the instructions that come with it which just run through everything I've just showed you and the new needles as well. So hopefully you should have no problems or questions but obviously if you do please contact me. My email address is on the paperwork and then I'll be able to help or advise.